the subject or the question if Africa can develop its own proper and unique model of the woman is a complex one to answer. I always say that there are two reasons for us to honor women. The first is that half of the world's population is female. The second is that the second half was, bought by, was, was born by women. Therefore, respect for women as our mothers, as our wives, as our sisters, as our daughters, should be a part of every great culture. It does not mean that we have to follow other parts of the world. It does not mean that we have to define our society and our institutions the way other institutions have developed over time. Every society develops at its own, at, at, at its own pace. We have economic considerations, we have social considerations, historical circumstances, we have religious and cultural values. But there are certain core elements that we must always consider, which is that women are an integral part of our society. They are not there for reproduction alone. They are also there for the production of goods and services and their empowerment, their education and giving them support would help address problems of poverty and inequality in African society. We need to change some of the cultural attitudes that lead to the subjugation of women and injustice against them. But we also have to retain our old values of respect, of honoring our mothers, of honoring our women, because there are many parts of the world in which women are in theory liberated, but they are disrespected where mothers are no longer honored, where wives are beaten, where women are forced to go into unseemly labor in order to earn a living. Let us retain what is good in our culture, what is good in our religion, what is good in our traditions, and let us abandon, let us take whatever is good from other, other cultures, but let us not believe that the only way we can be African is by changing our nature and changing our character. I hope that this is useful and I hope that we will continue to develop these thoughts and I thank Isesco for asking this question. It is a question that we Africans have to answer for ourselves and hopefully we'll arrive at a solution. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.